Hey, one of the coolest songs in the world to learn to play on the guitar, of course I think you'll agree, is Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix. What an amazing guitarist, what an amazing song. What I want to do today is just kind of break it down slow for you. Uh, if you're just starting out on guitar, I think you can pick this up, I really do. And if you're an intermediate player, this should be no problem for you. So this is the way that I like to play Purple Haze. Let's take a closer look at this of what's happening on the fretboard. Basically what we're playing is this low E string. And then I'm going to play this higher E note and that's on fret number seven of string number five. So if I play those two together, you can see they sound identical. So what I'm doing is going back and forth from each string, string five and six, starting with string six. So it's going like this. So just practice that. And then it goes into the bow now, bow now after that. So uh, another thing that I've noticed on this song, some of the live versions I've seen Jimmy play, He's playing it like this, finger number one on fret seven, string number five, and then finger number two on fret number eight of string number four, and playing these two notes together. So, in other words, it would go like this. I'm gonna keep it really simple today, and we're gonna just do the one note here with our, our middle finger, finger number two, and we're going to start the song like this. I'm going to do it slow. Then Jimmy goes up here to this dot right here, which is on fret number nine of string number four, and slides up like that. Then we go over to string number three, fret number seven, and then string number two, fret number eight, and then over here to string number four, fret number seven. So I'll do that again. And you'll notice that in the song, Jimmy bends this second string up a little bit. So we go from here on the ninth fret to fret number seven, to fret number eight, and bend up a little bit, and then over here to string number four, and we land here on this fret number seven. So I'll do that for you again. Go. So we're just bending this note up on the eighth fret just a little bit. And you also notice I'm adding a little vibrato on the string when I'm holding the note. Uh, it's a good thing to practice on when you hold a note kind of wiggle that string around a little bit and that adds a little bit more sustain. So I'm going to start it from the beginning again. All right, the next thing we're going to do is go down to fret number five of the fourth string and then we're going to go one string over towards the ceiling on string number five, fret number five. And then we're gonna go back up to this E note. So we're, I'll show you again. Now we're gonna go down. Again. OK, 
Okay, then we're gonna go up here to fret 12 and do a little slide down, so. Just like that. So you're going. Of course, we wanna add a little distortion, I'll add a little volume to it. it sounds a lot better. Amplifier there, so all those extra effects, the fuzz and the distortion, the overdrive, just adds to the the meat of the of the song that Jimmy's playing here. So let's start from the beginning again. I'm going to turn my volume up a little bit, so we've got some distortion. do is after we do the second we're going to go here to string number five on fret number seven that E note and we're going to play these notes together so instead of going bend this string just slightly up to that note so it sounds a lot smoother. I don't even have to use my pick on that part if I don't want to. But let's just keep using our pick for learning's sake. And that takes a little bit of practice bending that note so it goes up a little bit higher to reach that that half step here. So I'll show you again. We're on string number five, fret number seven, and then we're gonna go down to string number four, fret number five, and then back up to fret number seven on string number four, and we're gonna bend this note just, a, just enough so that it goes up to this note here. It's like this. <laughs> Start it again. Okay, then after that, we're going to go down like this. show you here we're on string number four fret number five and then string number five fret number five and then we're going to play the open a string and then this g note here on fret number three of string number six that together okay see how that works then we're going to go back to the beginning riff inside of this box here on the the ending of the riff that's the beginning riff same riff then I'm gonna go up here to fret number nine then back down to fret number seven on string three and then I'm still staying on string three and I'm going up to this E note here on fret number nine see how that's the same note that note twice and again we go at least that's what I like to do 
Okay, so let's crank it back up and let's go through it step by step from the beginning again. I'm gonna add a little bit more treble on here. Okay, then we're gonna do the infamous Jimi Hendrix chord, uh, which I believe is an E sharp seventh, uh, something like that. But this is what it looks like. We've got the uh, E, open E string on string six. Then we're gonna use finger number two. We're gonna put it on that dot there where the E note is. And then finger number one is going on string number four, fret number six. And then finger number three is going down here on fret number seven, string number three. And then my pinky, I'm putting right down here on the uh, second string, fret number eight. And it sounds like this. Playing all six strings. Okay, so I'm gonna do the whole thing for you. What I just did down here was a G major bar chord, uh, actually a G5, I'm sorry. I'm just doing these two notes right here, and then an A5, and then back to the G5, and then back to the E. Hendrix chord, G5, A5. Okay, and then after we do that, uh, we do a little bend here. So we start from this E note right here on fret number nine of string number three, and we're gonna bend up a little bit. We wanna hit this note. So you're gonna bend up to this note up here. And then we go back into the song. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. All right, that's how it goes. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. There's a lot more to the song, but hopefully this is enough to get you started. Keep on jamming, and I'll see you in the next video.